What do your parents think about you fucking their kitchen? Oh my god! You tell the story. To, tell the story. The yeah. Tell you. Tell the story that you've told told me before about the first time you got caught filming a video. Oh, there was one time where mm, kind of caught, I guess. But I uh, I saw my parents at the local shopping centre because they basically had banned me from like making videos at the house. And then I was like, oh, I want to quickly run home and film a video because back then it was like really easy to make a video. It wouldn't take long. Um, that would be really messy though. So basically, I basically ran home, started filming, and then I got maybe like halfway through, and then my parents came in. And were like, what the fuck are you doing? Basically, they banned me because the whole, whenever I film, the whole house smells like egg. Like, it's just. It's uncleanable. Like, Every time you film, it's it just like. Good. Like, yeah, like egg going under the fridge and you whatnot. Can, you can clean like, it, but you can't. It's kind of yeah. impossible it. to get that smell away. And even, I think, in the early days as well, they had like. Uh, not wooden floorboards, but it was something lino, I think it was. It's getting and under the egg, base, like egg basically yeah. just sink, like, sinks into that, and you just yeah. there's nothing you can do. Your old house, because lino is, for people that don't know, lino is like a plastic sheet. Like, this floor is real wood, but, like, fake one would look like this, but it'd be, like, plastic laid down really tight. And in your old place... It wasn't it wasn't cut in at the edge. So what they do is after they finish gluing it down, they put like a they didn't pin it. In they didn't they don't pin sides. it to the corner or put some sort of um, skirting up to protect it from any damage. So what he would do it would it peel upwards because it wasn't mm. pinned down, and you'd film a video and go underneath the lino. It was milk and fucking. That's it what, stunk. That's where all the cake videos were filmed, where all the milk and eggs and shit would just go underneath it, and it was just fermenting under the floor. It stunk every time you walk into Max's house. It smelled like a rotting bin. You'd like, never get it out unless yeah. you pulled all that. How lino did you live on. in that house, bro? Well, it's a classic, bro. A lot of that's where the backyard was. That's where Ian jumped down and said he was gay. That house probably increased in value from all those memes. <laughs> <It> definitely <laughs> did not. <laughs> that house was fucked. So, <laughs> Reese, you need to get your bond back, bro. Yeah, well, you know, you win some, you lose some. You just got to get on with it, mate. What else <laughs> happened in your old house, bro? That was our all house. All the videos. I don't what know. What was the most fucked video, like? Fuck you, oh. Edward Scissorhands, watermelon oh, hands. Oh, fucking no. The backyard. Dirt? I know. All I remember was the backyard was covered in glass, and there was glass in all the flower beds and all the lawn. And Michael and Jeff and fucking maybe even Danger at the time were supposed to come over to help pick all the glass out and put it into the thing. Every time they would come over, they just wouldn't do it, and so I just left it like that. And it was just nature think, took it. Nature took it. There was glass when I left the house. There was fucking glass in the backyard. All the walls were still fucked. Yeah, the liner was covered in milk fermenting under it. Tons of shit. It was a horrible thing to do. Have you told the story about the bird? The bird that it seized up and died in the house. It almost killed everyone in the house. That I mate mean, didn't that scar you for life? That oh bird? yeah, I, but yeah. So basically, Max's cat like attacked a bird. I think we stepped in like instantly. The cat was only gone at the bird for like a second or something, mm-hmm. but it, the damage had already been done and. I saw the bird like start like seizing, and I saw the moment that it died. You saw when the light left I its eyes. I saw the light leave, it, and it really fucked me up. It was it, it, it was, was it was on the it was a crow, was it or a magpie? Magpie. magpie, magpie. magpie. It was half in the door, like in between the sliding door. So half in the house, half out, like with his legs sticking out. Yeah. And it was just like it started seizing, and then yeah. And then it just had its mouth open, and you could just see like its it its died. eyes drop, and it just died like that with like blood. Its beak, yeah. and so we were, like, we were like, "That is so sad. Let's pick it up and let's film it and use it in a video. I'll put it in my bed. That'll be a great idea." Didn't we remove it from the house and the cat brought it back in though? I think we did, and then we were like, after "We should after we after should put it in my um bed and uh, I should film yes. it." Uh, and no, I got no, no, no. very very we sick. We all got very sick. That was that. that was today. The what you got? Okay, so I got the sick. That's the sickest yeah. I've ever been. Yeah, in my was, life. he got sick. And this was after the watermelon hands. And for people that don't, watermelon makes the floor sticky. That, that was, was the worst the house had ever been. Very sticky. After yeah. the, so that, that Mac, video Max, yeah, had just, right. Max had just broken up with his girlfriend while sick. Girlfriend at the time. Mm-hmm. So you're already pretty depressed and sick. Yeah, and that was a fucked up time. For, I can remember mad. all that time. It was yeah. just so fucked. I came over with some cleaners and I cleaned up as much as you could. It was fucked. And I looked after you for a couple of days and slept on your couch. I was sleeping on the couch, I remember. I was, sli- I was, just, I was, sleep- I was just sleep. I was just staying there with you. And I left and I went back to our place because we just moved in. And I was like, oh, I'm feeling a bit sick from Max's house. And then I got sick. You just got better. And then I got sick. 
It's like fucking bird flu. It was something and really I, bad. I was, it was in, something from the bird. I didn't. 100%, it must it's like one of those it. things where you're always like, oh, well, it couldn't happen to me. Like, uh, you know, I can handle this or I can do that. I'm not. I'm not going to be the one that gets sick or I'm not going to be the one that gets cancer. Well, that, that's I'm not going to be the one that has my left nut cut off. That's yeah. uh, that's what I thought when I was staying with you because I was taking the multivitamins. I'm like. And you're like, Chad, you'll get sick. And I was like, no, I'll be fine. I can stay here. I won't get sick because I just wanted to be with you at the time. Thanks, bro. And I just... That's very gay. Gay. <laughs> and I just fucking... I, I went back to our place. And I thought I was... I, th- I was laying in bed like, am I going to like die? I thought I was going to die. And yeah, uh, sir, I wake up in the bed with McDonald's and that, and there's a dead bird in the bed. That's the bird that died and seized up in the house. And we just played it in the bed like, oh yeah, this is... This we is just take prop. note as well that the bird was dead for a day before they used it for filming. We put it in the bin or we something. Did. The we cat got it out. out and was eating it. And then we found it and we were like, eh, use it as a prop. It's a must, might as well. It was sat there for like days, wasn't it? It was, it was, in, the, it was in the house up until the cleaners came. It was there in, in the house for five days. Six days, maybe. It was one of the reasons that we were like, um, we were filming when I had the watermelons on and the house was getting pretty messy from filming. And I was like, let's just go full ball. Like, let's just cross the fucking mark. That's where I filmed the scene where I was smashing everything and I was just going ballistic. And that's why when we filmed the bedroom scene where I wake up with the shit everywhere, I was like, put the bird in the bed, put McDonald's there, let's just make the house as, as fucked as possible and let, let that be the scene for the video. Um, and then I think we filmed more stuff and more stuff and then it was so hard past the point of no return that it was impossible to like clean up properly. And yeah, the house is fucked. I missed, I missed the first two days of filming. Because I was visiting family, but when I that that I came after, I I came for the last day of the filming for that video, and I and I was there for that filming. I think yeah, George and, was there. Yeah, and the fucking when I walked in the house, I was like, because you're all living there, it's, uh, you Ian and George, it George, was George and Ian were sharing right, the couch. Right. Uh, you were in the bedroom. You're sleeping in the spare bedroom. I think so. Well, and I, it I was wa- a fucky lifestyle. Yeah. It was the most really fucked lifestyle. And I walked in. I was like, depression. I was like. Uh, how you got? Because I didn't want to stay there. Like I was like, I need to find. Because I, I I was living with Warren and Kurt at the time, but we just got to. Pro- I came back because we got approved for the house. Because I was visiting family, so I came back to get ready to move. And I was like, how the fuck are you guys living in this house? So that's why I got the cleaners in after George and Ian left. You were depressed and like. I, I also just wanted to know. I didn't have a cat door. Um, so the door was. So the, the door flies. had to stay open, and it was in summer. So there was a million flies in the house because of all the rancid shit that was in there. I don't know how Ian slept on the couch. We didn't have a fu- We had to keep the door open because I was like, the cats have to go outside. I don't have a cat door. I don't have a, uh, a kitty little box because they're outdoor cats. Um, and it was summer. It was so rancid. All the flies were coming to suck all the fucking rancid shit off. And we were all fucked cunts anyway. So we and we were like, all drinking yeah, too. Drink every night. Drink every time we film. Drink every night after. Go to the fucking casino every night to reward ourselves after filming. There was definitely some weed being smoked. There was so much weed being well. smoked. Was, yeah. I didn't do that, mom. <laughs> <laughs> didn't we take your weed virginity? No, no comment. No, <laughs> no, no. Yeah, no comment. I've, I've done it when it's legal. That's about it. LA only. LA only. That was around the time that you met George as well. I think it was the fir- was it the first time I think yeah because I was in I was in my shed filming and then you called and you put George on the phone. Well, remember when he didn't believe that you had a basic either, yeah. and it was the same thing like yeah. Chad went through, where he was like, "I don't, I don't believe you there at all." There's no way this person, this fuck cunt that I've watched videos <laughs> of, this isn't had a basic. <laughs> and that was when we were doing the meme token thing. Where the meme the one token. Meme, oh the my one god! Meme, the one meme. I remember that. Everyone would get a meme token, and you would you'd be able to give uh, redeem a meme token to George, and you would have to do one of his characters yeah, out loud that. in public or like wherever. Yeah, that was like so fucking good. Chin Chin <laughs> or fucking Frank or Safari Man or whatever. Yeah, he hated it. I think my favorite was Safari Man. That was good. Remember, remember, we'd walk around the corner. Let's like Chin Chin. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. you kept making him do it like over and over again. Yeah. I think, yeah, you may have given me a few meme tokens that I used yeah. on him. Mm-hmm. That was sweet. What happened to him? He sucks now. Yeah, he <laughs> just became some fucking faggot <laughs> that plays at Lower Palooza. Probably makes millions. Yeah. But, you know, it was nice. Good times. Good old times. We'll do a 10-year anniversary, maybe. Pax. Is that coming up Is Pax going to be a thing around then? I mean, it's or are they just fucking idiots who don't know how to run like a fucking thing? It's probably become VidCon by that point. 
Anyway, we're up to the point of the podcast where we're going to shot. Let's go there. Scott. Scott shots. Mm-hmm.